guys so as you can tell I have a new camera and I am super excited because I've wanted this camera for like ever and it's my new baby and it's the Canon Rebel T3i and yes so I'm filming a how to feel better about yourself video and right now like I'm ready for prom and my dress is right there and it's just too early to put it on. So I just thought I would film this video for my main channel. And I have a list of everything I want to talk about. And it's using the oops, app called Clear, which I actually got from, what is wrong? But anyways, I actually got it from, it's like free from the Starbucks app of the week thing. So I have the Starbucks app also. So yeah, that's why it's, all right, but I think it's really cool. Like, let's see. oh, you guys get a sneak peek. But like, it goes from orange, red to orange, and you can change like, oh dear. Okay, and you can like change the color to like whatever color you want, like whatever color theme. But I I like the red to yellow just because I think it's cool. But anyways, let's get started with the video. <laughs> so the first thing that like I obviously need to work on these too but these are things that, like I've done and they also help me feel better about myself so I just thought I would share them with you and make you feel better about yourself or if you do feel like well enough with yourself then maybe share this with friends or people you know that don't really like love themselves or feel like they matter or just like they don't feel good about themselves or anything so let's get started with the video so the first thing is like don't focus on the mirror like when you're taking off your makeup if you're a girl or just if you're a guy and you're in the bathroom for whatever you all do like washing your face don't focus on like your pimples or your like your pores or anything just wash your face and take all of your makeup off and everything and brush your teeth and just go don't look at your face in the mirror for too long otherwise like you're gonna be like oh i hate how like my hairline is or like your nail buds actually you don't see those in the mirror i'm just trying to quote mean girls yeah just don't focus on the mirror just because I have done it and it made me feel so bad about myself and not focusing on the mirror is boosting my self-confidence so I just want to share that tip with you guys so it can build your self-confidence so you can feel good about yourself and everything and it might even in focus there you go I think that's it more in focus anyways on to the next one um okay I do this and it makes me feel better about myself so, like if you have like snapchat just send really ugly pictures of yourself to them like to friends and I will show you some of my personal super attractive faces but there's that one super attractive right guys and then and then there's this one another super attractive one and yeah just um they and it's just funny because then like your friends get a laugh and then it makes me feel better about myself personally so hopefully it'll make you feel better about yourself too just because i don't know if these okay sorry about that i remember card to school so i had to um delete things it makes me feel better about myself when I send ugly selfies to my friends because they laugh because it makes their day and then it makes my day which makes me feel better oh yes next tip is to buy things that make you yes you person watching this video and um, buy things that make you feel good about yourself and make you feel comfortable and confident rather than what is popular at the moment. For example, like I, um, with my body shape, the like tie bikini bottoms, just, they don't look good. So I have to get the ones that have fabric because they look better and makes me feel better about myself. 
because it makes um, me feel more confident, which is a plus. Yeah. And I got acrylics for prom. Yes. You guys will figure this out sooner or later, but I am a really hyper person and um, you guys know who Connor Franta is, much like that. I feel like we'd be really good friends if we ever meet each other, and hopefully we do at one point, whether it be like a playlist or VidCon or something like that, if I end up getting to go sooner or later. So, yes. Um, okay. So, I want you guys, if you are self-conscious about your weight, to stand up. Just do it. Put your computer on your bed, stand up. But you don't need to pause this video, just stand up. If you look down, do you see your feet? If yes, you're normal. If not, you're normal. Because the people that are super tiny, like the models that are super tiny, only a few people in the world look like that. More people look like you than you think. And the way that you are is normal and beautiful or attractive if you're male. I don't know, because boys don't really like being called beautiful. So, yes, you are normal if the, way, if the weight that you have is normal, so don't feel bad about your weight because you're beautiful no matter what other people say. As long as one person like me says you're beautiful, then it's true. Um, okay, the next thing I want you to do is write a list of adjectives that describe yourself. Positive ones. Positive ones. Okay, I do this a lot because there's a lot of days where I just feel bad about myself and I um, like to write lists of positive adjectives that describe me, that my friends use or that my family uses. Even though my family's probably just biased because in the family, but things that are like nice, outgoing, um, loud for me, just because I'm a loud person, uh, hyper, which is me also, these are ones that I use to describe me, um, funny, outgoing, friendly, loyal, adjectives that will just make you feel better about yourself, and I want you to put it somewhere like a mirror in your bedroom or your bathroom and look at it and say, this is what I am. I am nothing less than that. This is who I am, and I just need to remember that. I obviously need to, like, not obviously, but I need to work on it. And I just want you guys to feel good about yourself because you are a wonderful person. And um, the next two are just kind of, they seem obvious, but I, and do these for the longest time and that is to surround yourself with only positive people and cut out anything that's negative like any negative influences such as like worry or stress oops just kicked the garbage back but so I stress about tests and I am working on not stressing because stress is bad bad I say bad people right there for watching this it's, sorry I'm looking in the beef Finder, the viewfinder because this is strange because I see movement and I get easily distracted so yes so surround yourself with positive people and positive influences and try to get rid of all the negativity that you have because it will start with the fall but it'll make you feel better about yourself thank you have you guys done anything recently that makes you feel good about yourself like maybe get straight A's or I'll graduate high school, which I'm doing soon, and I'm nervous. <laughs> but if you have done any, anything recently that makes you feel good about yourself, put it somewhere where you can see it, and just remind yourself that this achievement that you just did makes you feel happy, and it will make you feel better about yourself just because you're happy and you're not sad. And happiness always makes someone feel better and love themselves, right? Uh-uh, I don't even know. Okay. 
The next one is unfriend or unfollow anybody on any social media websites that make you feel bad about yourself, whether it be because they're like, what you say is like a perfect body image, or just people that just make you feel bad about yourself. I've had to do it myself. So, and it's definitely made me feel better about myself. So, it should make you feel better about yourself too. Next one, let's go out to places with no makeup. Because I've done it. There's obviously days where I just don't put any makeup on, and there were days where I just didn't want to go out, and my grandparents, or like friends or something, had asked me to do things, and I was like, well, I have to get out of the house now. And I was just felt bad about myself, and I was like, what if someone sees me with no makeup on, and they think I'm ugly? Um, and if you do it enough times, then you'll just be used to not wearing makeup and then you will feel beautiful and you will feel better about yourself without the makeup. And you won't need to put wear makeup every day. And when you wear makeup to things like prom or graduation or for like a wedding, things like that, it will make you feel even that much more beautiful and feel that much better about your, that much more better that make you feel that much better there we go I think that much better about yourself so yes and don't make your hair look perfect every day like there's days my friends can vow like say that I do this like there's days for school that I have no makeup on my hair in a messy bun and I wear my glasses like to most people that's not attractive and I've done that like when I was first doing that like I just was super self-conscious and now I, I just do it so often that I'm just used to it and I still feel beautiful and I feel good and yes so you guys should do that too yeah um every time someone says something nice to you it's like not um about clothing like it can be how you did your makeup that day, or just any sort of compliment that someone gives you. Write it down, put it somewhere where you see it, so then you see it and it reminds you that you are that adjective or that compliment, whatever it is. Let's say that someone is like, oh, you look so pretty, like your eyes are gorgeous today. Cause I get that compliment a lot, like I'm not trying to sunbathe or anything, just because my eyes are blue. Let's see. In. There we go. See, they're just a blue color. I have kind of but I have green in them, and and um, I wrote that down, and it made me feel better about myself. So I need to stop moving because I get in and out of focus all the time. Ah, you know what? I'm just gonna stand here and focus. Where I am. There we go. There we go. So, write down that compliment that someone gives you, so when you see it, it will make you feel better. Next one is like in your notebooks for school, because I know y'all have either notebooks or just like the loose leaf paper, just on random ones, write things like, you look beautiful today, uh, smile because you're beautiful, or just, you're a good person. And when you see them, make you feel good and it will make you smile that day which will make you feel better and make you feel like you love yourself this is just gonna be an interactive video with y'all anyways so I, I need to stop falling all the time huh anyways so I need to get a piece of paper and if you look up to someone let's say you look up to Miranda Kerr I don't know she was the first person that came to my mind but list all of the reasons why you look up to them. Um, yeah, so I'll give you a few seconds, and if you need to, just pause the video now. Are you done? If not, then pause this video. Just pause it, it's okay. I understand. Okay, so. Did you list any physical features at all? If you did. 
cross them off. What adjectives are left? Because they should only be adjectives. And if there are things that you used in the list that I told you guys to write earlier about yourself, if any of them are the same, just, then, just think of them as just you. Because everyone really is kind of the same. I mean, right? Like, let's say that for Miranda Kerr, you said that she was skinny, cross off skinny. You said she was funny, keep that in view so that you were funny, then you guys are both funny, so you guys are more alike than you think. So, that usually makes me feel better about myself if like celebrities and things that I look up to. Like, I, I don't know. I did that once and it made me feel better about myself and made me have more self-confidence. So hopefully it, that helps you guys. But if you also make videos like I do, I challenge you guys to make a video without makeup. Fun fact, my 50 facts about me, or 30 things that annoy me, the second video, whatever the second one is, I filmed that with no makeup on. And it will make you feel better about yourself because most people won't comment like, oh look at all the acne you have on your face. Or, they most likely won't point out your insecurities. It's like, a few people will, but most people won't see them because they will see you for you. And, yes, so. And if you get negative comments on your videos, like this is obviously going to be hard at first, but just, if you get dislikes or negative comments, just ignore them because like nine times out of 10, there'll be nine, wonderful comments. Focus on the positive ones and not the negative because positive is better for you. Better for your self-esteem. Next one, going back to like clothing and things like that. But if you feel confident in an outfit, whether it be like a maxi skirt and flowy shirt or something like that, if you feel confident, wear it. Don't uh, think about what other people probably think about you. If you feel confident in that outfit, rock it and just be you in that wonderful outfit so yes just make a list of things that you like about yourself just anything put that list somewhere where you see it so when you see it it will make you smile and make you feel good for that day and it will make you feel better and yes just make a list about things that you don't like about yourself As long as you need. If you need to pause this video, like I said before, I understand. Take your time. I'll just be here almost breaking my mirror. I'll just be here twisting my tongue. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going. So if you need more time, just pause the video now. But I'm gonna cross off things that only you find negative about yourself. Like you haven't been told from other people. Even if you think that thing that someone else has told you, don't cross that off. Just cross off things that only you think about yourself. For example, like I think sometimes that I am overweight, even though obviously like I'm not. But no one tells me that, so I had to cross that off of my list. Just cross off everything that only you think about yourself. Now cross off things that people have told you, whether it's like you're stupid or you're too short. I've got that before. What? Um, and then cross anything off that will prevent you from achieving any goals that you may have. <laughs> Do you have anything left? Is it something you can fix? If not, that thing, whatever it is, was given to you for a reason. Just make that insecurity a security and something that you love about yourself. Remind yourself that even the people that you think are perfect for whatever reason it is, whether it's they're beautiful and skinny and have a super attractive husband or boyfriend, whatever it is, they have insecurities too and they probably think that you're perfect. It's just, that's how girls work. You know. I would know because I'm a girl. Probably like that for the guys too. And it's not and any of these don't apply to guys, then if you are a guy and watching this video, 
comment down below things that you do to make you feel better about yourself to help those other fellow guys out there. So yes, even the people that you think are perfect have insecurities, so just remind yourself of that. Last four things. So make a list of physical features you love about yourself. For example, I love the color of my eyes. I love the shape of my eyes, so I'd write that. And then make a list of things that are unique to only you. And then learn to laugh at yourself. Like I do stupid things all the time and I laugh about them. And they make me feel better about myself. And last one, just don't beat yourself up for something that won't matter 20 years down the line. For example, like if you have just a giant cut on your face, like it won't be there 20 years from now and it won't matter. So just don't beat yourself about things that won't matter even five years or like a day after it happens. Don't beat yourself up because like I said before, you're beautiful, you deserve to feel beautiful and yes, since you are all beautiful, stay beautiful. Feel better about yourself because you deserve it. Bye guys. I'm a weird person.